24th of April, the World Health Organization started to report swine flu. That day, there were only cases in Mexico and the United States. But look at my map. During the last 13 days, swine flu has hit a total of 23 countries in the world, including Sweden. The size of the bottle is the number of cases. And by May 6, the World Health Organization has confirmed 31 deaths, 29 in Mexico and 2 in the United States. Now, these small red bubbles here represent the number of deaths in swine flu. Let me show you on the same map. Blue bubbles representing the number of people who died from the tuberculosis infections in their lungs during the same 13 days. Here, look, there are many more people who died from tuberculosis in the world. I will give you the numbers. 31 deaths in swine flu. 63,000 deaths in tuberculosis during 13 days based on tu tuberculosis data from WHO. And how did the media cover this? Well, looking in uh, Google's news search, uh, the number of news reports on swine flu was a quarter of a million. And for tuberculosis, it was 6,500. This enables the calculation of a measure of media relevance called the news per death ratio. News per death ratio. And for swine flu, it was 8,176 news report per each death. And for tuberculosis, it was 0 0.1 report per each person that died. A severe underreporting of a daily catastrophe. Now, I admit that swine flu may turn into a future catastrophe, and therefore I support all the message, message taken by the disease control agencies of the world. But I issue an alert against the media hype. Beware of that next time you look at television or you read the newspaper.